Hey everybody, welcome back to The Hungry Bachelor. Today we're going to be making a favorite of mine, French-Canadian torture. I'll start by dicing half a large onion. You'll want to make sure that the pieces are diced really small. You don't really want any large chunks in your filling. Next, we'll have and finally dice one celery stalk. Again, no large chunks. And lastly, we'll chop one large clove of garlic. All right, let's get cooking. I'll start by adding a few tablespoons of olive oil to a pan over medium-high heat. To this, I'll add my onion and celery, followed by my spice mixture. I'll leave the details of this in the description below. Finally, I'll add my garlic and cook this for about three minutes before setting it aside in a small bowl. Next, we'll cook our meat. Specifically, I'm using a pound of ground pork and one quarter pound of ground beef. And yes, I'm crowding the pan. I'm basically gonna be boiling this anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna use a wooden spoon to break the meat up as fine as possible while it cooks. Then I'll add back in our vegetables and spices. Now I'm gonna add about half of a grated russet potato. Some people use breadcrumbs or panko. I prefer potato to firm up the filling. And finally, we'll add one cup of beef stock, which has been simmering at a low boil. I'll reduce the heat, mix everything together, and cook for about 10 minutes. Now that everything's cooked, I'll take the meat off the heat and let it cool while we prepare our pastry. Now I'm using store-bought puff pastry today, but feel free to make your own if you're feeling adventurous. I'm just gonna roll out two pieces, one for the bottom and one for the top. Now that we've added our filling, I'm gonna use a spoon to press this firm and get rid of any air pockets. Now I'm gonna beat one egg and brush the crust all the way around before adding our top layer. Now I'll make a few quick cuts to let air escape before brushing the entire top of the pie with our egg wash so we get a nice golden brown during cooking. Okay, I'm gonna throw this into a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes. And that's it, French Canadian Tortier. Best served cold the day after with a generous helping of ketchup. For the full recipe, visit thehungrybachelor.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos coming soon.